Good evening, everyone. Hi, this is Dr. Paul Zeitz. I'm coming to you live on Justice News Network from Bethesda, Maryland. It's Friday, February 14th, 2020. Valentine's Day. And it's 262 days until the November 3rd USA election. So I just wanted to provide a short broadcast tonight. First of all, to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day to all justice-hearted Americans who believe that the heart of America is our shared commitment to the pursuit of life, liberty, happiness, and justice for all. May this year, 2020, be the year where we Americans mobilize our collective valor and courage and together choose to usher in a new era of tranquility, justice, and peace. Let's commit together to ensure the survival and flourishing of all of humanity and our natural world for ourselves and for future generations. Let's restore our climate. Let's heal America. Let's create a purple tsunami, a cross-partisan mobilization of people from all political parties, from all coalitions, alliances, organizations, and individuals coming together to create a new America, America 2.0. I've been a little patriotic these days, thinking about the history of our country and the sad state of our current uh, challenges. In fact, the virtual collapse of our first constitutional order, uh, the rancor and divide and tiresome debate that we are hear and read about in the news is just indicative of the collapse of America 1.0 constitution. Their debates and rancor and, and rackets are endless, and we're in the face of existential threats to humanity. We're on the brink of a human extinction event from the climate emergency, and our government, our leaders, our president, our Congress ha aren't doing anything uh, tangible to respond to this most pressing matter for humanity. I think we deserve better. I think we can do better. So I'm going to read a few passages from Paul Revere's Ride. It was a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who tried to capture the spirit of the uh, revolutionary era uh, that our founders lived in way back in the 1700s. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from town to night, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride, spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm for the country folk to be up and to arm. And then he said good night and with a muffled oar, silently rowed to the Charleston shore. Just as the moon rose over the bay, where the swinging wide uh, uh, at her moorings lay, the Somerset, British man of war, a phantom ship, with each mast and spar, across the moon like a prison bar, and a huge black hulk that was magnified by its own reflection in the tide. I'm going to skip and move towards the end. It's a beautiful poem that captures the spirit of the moment of that time when people chose to stand up to tyranny and greed and to fight for liberty and justice for all. And we're in that kind of moment now, I believe. And so the poem ends with, uh, with a beautiful passage. So through the night rode Paul Revere, and so through the night went his cry of alarm to every Middlesex village and farm, a cry of defiance and not of fear. A voice in the darkness, a knock at the door, and a word that shall echo forevermore. For born on the night wind of the past, through all our history to the last, in the hour of darkness and peril and need, the people will waken and listen to hear the hurrying hoof, hoofbeats of that steed 
and the midnight message of Paul Revere. Enjoy the night. Happy weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. And may God bless America. Have a great day. Peace. Bye.